Hi guys, is this a weird angle? I never know. Hi and welcome to another weekly vlog. Today guys, I feel like I never can coordinate this correctly, but today I'm going to paint all the sketches you saw last week. Um, I'm very excited because I can finally start painting more than three t-shirts at a time, so that's going to be great because I can manage to um, make work in advance. Did I say that correctly? Right now I am also transferring all the files because Ed, thank you so much, is helping me editing these videos. Other than that, today is going to be a very painty uh, type of day. I'm really happy because these are the perfect days in my opinion. Um, I changed all the setup on my office. I don't know if you can tell. It's really messy right now, guys. <laughs> you can still see me. <laughs> Um, I move things around in my flat and right now I am sitting literally in front of the window because you guys, this camera is not making any justice but it's really dark right now, uh, especially in the UK, especially in winter so I need all the natural light that I possibly can. So today I'm going to be here painting, uh, listening to podcasts, catching up with all the stuff that I want to listen and just have a very cozy and relaxing day in front of the window. And yeah, I'm very happy. I have coffee as well. I hope you're okay with all of this content that I'm putting right now, especially now that it's all focused on the challenge, but I'm going to do my best to include some of the other stuff that I'm doing as well as the challenge, because I've noticed that all of these videos are about the challenge. And even though this is a very interesting challenge, I am sure and positive that not all of you want to watch like 100% challenge videos. Uh, so yeah, that is going to be it for today. Um, I'm going to obviously keep you posted. <laughs> I'm exporting the video you watched last week. I can see a pattern right now because my two videos, my two last videos, they look almost exactly the same. So maybe tomorrow we can do something different. I mean, today I do have to paint the t-shirts, you guys. That is that is going to happen. It's inedible. Inedible? Inedible? Ined ined inevitable. Ined <laughs> Unavailable? <laughs> <laughs> the word, you know the word, anyway. 
we can't control it. I have to paint the t-shirts, but uh, maybe tomorrow we can do something different because I don't want to bore you guys and I will be really scared that all the videos are looking alike. I know you don't mind. I know you don't mind, but just like we can spice things up. But today I do have to finish the t-shirts. I do have a couple of layers to go because this, this mofo here needs at least two more layers of white. That is the problem with using colored t-shirts, by the way, in case you were wondering. And I already finished this one here. This is really funny, you guys. <laughs> anyway, and this is the stack of t-shirts. Look at this mess, you guys. Um, these are the t-shirts that I need to do afterwards. So I'm so glad that you guys are here because I'm not alone in this madness, in this crazy thing that I put myself into alone by myself. Nobody forced me to do it, but I'm so glad you're here. Today is Thursday and I finished the t-shirts. So I have t-shirt t-shirts. I have t-shirts now until Monday, which is great because that gives me plenty of time to design more illustrations. Um, I want to just say out loud thank you so much for your feedback so far on Instagram and on social media about the t-shirts. Like <laughs> when I design t-shirts and maybe this might be an advice uh, but like when I design t-shirts I design generally things that I will wear like in real life of course I take into consideration things things that you like but it's also really important to consider it yourself um, so all of the t-shirts that I have done they're like things that I would genuinely wear so I think that's a great um, thing to have in mind I'm repeating myself uh, right now I think I'm going to draw a lot and I need to start practicing some characters for my upcoming graphic novel with Ed. I am really scared you guys because I don't know if I've mentioned this but Ed and I are starting to work on a new graphic novel. It's a sci-fi graphic novel and basically I have to draw all the things that I'm really bad at drawing. <laughs> So it's a project that makes me really nervous um, and scared because I have to do lots of scenery and characters from different body shapes, ethnicities, um, ages and stuff like that. And I'm not very good with character design. Also sci-fi scenery and like spaceships and stuff like that. So yeah, I need, I need to practice a lot and something that I never do, you guys is that I never do some proper studies before entering a project. I always just like start drawing at once. And for this project in particular, I think I will have to do some research and studies first because I have no idea what this world looks like, the world of the graphic novel. So um, instead of just like maybe draw t-shirts, I want to spice things up and do this with you guys. I am so glad it's Friday. <laughs> One of the characters we were thinking about um, doing him, doing him, drawing him, designing him as a redheaded. We were pitching or like uh, thinking about who is the perfect redheaded that we were thinking for this character. And suddenly I came up with Ed Sheeran. No, I, have, I know nothing about him, guys. Probably you know way more than me about him. I know he's a singer and he's, he's very big right now. But usually, guys, when I have no idea what to draw character-wise, and I'm designing a new character, I am very bad at drawing uh, different ethnicities or like body shape, body type people, especially men. 
So when I tend to, when I'm designing a new character, I tend to go for a real human being. Um, most of the time celebrities or like friends, um, because I have lots of pictures and lots of angles from different people that I don't usually draw. And from that point onwards, I try to design my own character, like take a real human being as a base, um, as an outline, as a structure, and then move forward uh, into my style. Happy Monday! Today is Monday and oh my god, that was a really really good weekend. I really needed to rest and I feel so energized and happy today. <laughs> I'm very obnoxious, that obnoxious um, energetic person on a Monday morning. So welcome to a new blog. Uh, today I have been sending lots of emails and catching up with emails and stuff and projects. Uh, I have one remaining t-shirt for today, but after this t-shirt I have no designs. Uh, the good thing is that right now, in a few minutes, I'm going out to meet my friend Nina and Ali, uh, and we're going to catch up and draw together, and I really need to draw, I really need new ideas, so it's nice, like I couldn't pick a better date to meet them. Um, so I'm going to have coffee with them, maybe lunch, I have no idea and I'm going to keep you posted with the whole situation because I have no idea what to draw guys like I have no t-shirts for tomorrow <laughs> just had a quick lunch because I haven't eaten anything since breakfast and per usual, as usual, I didn't draw anything <laughs> with Ali and Nina. We just talked for um, a couple of hours and now I have zero sketches and zero ideas. <laughs> just like the idea of relaxing and just like laughing with friends is great for your inspiration and motivation. I just need at least three ideas guys so I can paint the ideas tomorrow and take quick pictures and that's it. Thank God I already have a t-shirt for today which I have to share in a couple hours. getting really really dark actually and I decided to take a break from these t-shirts to upload today's illustration, today's t-shirt. If I can give you any advice guys on how to set up the photoshoot or whatever you're doing for your 30 challenge, 30 day challenge is to keep it as simple and like quick as you can. Um, I asked Ed to help me take the pictures and as you guys can see, I don't know if you can see, maybe it's too light, but the setup that we took, like that we decided with that, it was, uh, it's really, really simple. Um, it's just like three simple pictures, one with a pink background, uh, one close up and then the other one and that's it. Uh, we didn't want to do anything fancy, so that's why you can still see <laughs> the the door on the background and everything. Uh, but I, I think it's really important to keep 
this, this this challenge as simple as you can in some regard because you'll have to do this every single day even weekends so if i can give you if i can share the knowledge with you guys try to do it as simple as you can hi guys and good morning today is a very sunny gorgeous no clouds day here in Hastings and I'm just about to have a meeting and then I have a marathon because I need to paint as many t-shirts as I can but I need to say goodbye because Ed has to start editing this video but I want to say like properly proper goodbyes and this is going to be like a cliffhanger because if you want to see how the t-shirts turn out you have to watch next week's video got him. I really suck at doing this um before I say goodbye I wanted to give you an update on the Ed Sheeran's <laughs> drawings I did with you guys um I felt really discouraged on Friday because it's really tough, guys, to see the 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 border. How do you say your limitations as an illustrator? It's really hard and tough to see the things that you're not very good at drawing, and then you have to work. Um, and people is something that I'm trying to get better at, and I realize that I'm not very good at drawing noses. All of my drawings uh, have the same noses. All of my characters have the same noses. And basically the same bone structure, like at least face-wise. Um, and it's really tough to see your limitations. It's really hard to see the things that you are not very good at drawing, especially when you're about to do something as gigantic as a freaking graphic novel uh, with people from all, all ethnicities and backgrounds and body shape and body types. I like watching series and drawing at the same time because I can see people from all backgrounds and from all uh, with all the looks and all the types of body uh, in the world uh, most of the time um, and I can practice a lot and I realize uh, finally and it was a, a very good um, realization that what I need to work on right now are noses because noses are a very uh, they can define and determine uh, a body's a body's a person's personality or at least the ethnicity very quickly and I realized that I draw the same nose all over again um, I read a comment on the last last week's video which by the way thank you so much for all your comments guys and someone said, I love how you take every weakness as a challenge and as a way to improve. Um, thank you for noticing, by the way. But I think that there's no other way to take uh, your weakness in this regard because I don't have a teacher, I don't have a tutor or someone that is guiding me through what I do. So the only way of improving myself is to pay attention to the things that I'm struggling at and trying to do my best one day at a time, take it easy, try to take it in a very educational way and learn and see how other illustrators are struggling with the same problems and how they're fixing it. It's just like a trying and error type of situation. If you're taking your weaknesses as something that you have to avoid or just like um, keep not facing them, you're never going to improve. Um, so I challenged you <laughs> in a very didactic, in a very nice way to face your fears and face your weaknesses, uh, pay attention to what you're doing wrong or uh, the stuff that you need to improve and just like improve it. Take the time uh, while you're watching a show to realize what you're struggling is and just like work with it. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you in some way. Thank you so much for all your feedback. I know a lot of people have been telling me comments like, please do not iron the t-shirts this way, iron them this way. Yeah, I'm very new <laughs> in this like painting, hand painting t-shirts. So I really guys appreciate all of your feedback and comments and ideas and everything. It's been like a great experience so far, this challenge. And I can't believe we're just halfway there. <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, time is running really slow right now. Thank you so much to my patrons and for supporting me and for allowing me to take 
one month to hand paint t-shirts and to find out my weaknesses and take the time to improve them uh, along, along you guys. It's a dream come true actually. Uh, but yeah, I hope you're having a fantastic day, a wonderful weekend ahead, and I will see you next week for more challenges and more t-shirts um, in some way. So yeah, people are missing the ugly faces. So here's a, a couple ugly faces for you. Uh.